Fred, and your, your, your company, uh, Cranes, is involved in covering a lot of things all over the country. But again, when you come back to your core base in Chicago, do you feel that you're covering an evolving story, or are you a participant in, 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 in allowing Chicago to reach its potential? I think we're, as, an as a news organization, we're covering it. As a business, we're, we're involved and we're, we're invested in Chicago's development. Um, and in terms of new media, I think there's a lot to be hopeful about. We're seeing, we're watching um, some, some media institutions, some of the greatest ones in the country, historic uh, uh, infrastructures sort of crumble. And that's really, really, the really place. scary. Yeah. No, I'm not naming any names. <laughs> it's really scary. Um, but within those organizations is a, a tremendous amount of talent, people who know how to create content and, and create content that, that the community has, and, and the community at large has a lot of hunger for. And, and my, my, my sincere hope, and this is going to be difficult, but that as those institutions go away, that, that, that innovation sort of, sort of rises from the ground up and that we have that ability to create uh, media and content that people want, we'll find new ways to deliver it. And so all that talent that's out there can find new channels. Jason, do you, thank you. Jason, do you feel that uh, being from Chicago, we are hungrier, we are less arrogant, we are closer to uh, the you know the real people, if you will? Is that part of the maybe uniqueness of, of the of the soil here, the creative well, soil? Well, I think it definitely does help the um, How's his mic? Yeah. Yeah. I think it definitely does help us just a little bit understand. I think we all understand that new media is wide open as an opportunity to really become um, the leader in the world. We're not beholden on the video side to, uh, to television and the movies like LA and, and New York, so we all understand uh, the opportunity that lies ahead of us and we're not you know, kind of busy hanging on to uh, what was. And, and we also, we're, we're willing to start over. In, in a lot of ways and, and, and look at the industry from a brand new perspective. We don't have to run a shoot a certain way. We don't have to have the show staffed a certain way. We don't have to spend X uh, on a production in order for it to be good. And I think we understand that and we do have that humility and the ability to just rip up everything that we know and start again and to build for these particular media. I, I think that's a really great point. And I think that there's sort of a continuum and Chicago has the opportunity to walk into this development of new media at sort of a perfect moment. This is sort of second wave or, or third wave, and there are some rooted conventions already within this, you know, supposed to be this new thing, and there's already ways you do it. Because it, it started out, out west in Silicon Valley, and, and it migrated very quickly to New York, and we're getting it to it a little later, which is, which is our way. And it's also our way to reinvent things like you said, and uh, I think we're at a perfect moment to learn from what was done and find a Chicago way that might even be more powerful. Historically, I think we should put this in context, is that in the early days of radio, when the medium was new, one of the very first cities, there was activity in New York, but one of the first cities that became a dominant focal point for radio was Chicago. It's not hometown boosterism to say that. Insofar as early television, there was so much of a, of a spirit of creativity because the people in Chicago didn't ask permission. They just did it. They usually did it uh, effectively and efficiently, which I know is, is, is your, your, your mantra, Jason, because they did it effectively, efficiently. They didn't ask permission, and, and they did such a great job, it took on a name of itself. It was called the Chicago School of Television. So there's no reason why those same systemic elements that you know, were alive, you know, 60 and, and 80 years ago, can't be replicated. There's something in the, in the spirit about it. What is, what, is the, uh, what is the fear you have? So far we've painted a picture that, okay, everything is, is, is going okay here. What are the reservations or concerns that you might have? Because as, as things grow, you know, competition does rear its, its head. And in this climate, is there a fear that this clawing for a competitive advantage could really defeat the purpose of the collective movement forward as a creative community? 
in general, I, my fear in anything is that people try and do too much. So they try and overdo it. And they think they need to overdo it because whenever you're in second or third or whatever, you think you need to push really hard to get to first. I think usually what, what, what's, what's most interesting is that um, if you focus on the basics, you stay focused on the basics and just deliver at a really high level of those basics, that's what people really want. And so my biggest fear is that we try and deliver too much and try and try too hard and like work too hard and don't get enough sleep and all this stuff that no one really likes. And instead, just focus on the basics, deliver the basics at a high level, and we'll do really well. I, I just, that's my only fear. Other than that, I think we can do anything in this city. But I, I just do worry when we try and, when we're not ourselves. And that's usually, you're not yourself when you try too hard. I think it's just great to just try and get the basics done right. Your reaction? Um, well, certainly at the Chicago Tribune, it, reading tomorrow's paper or right now online, uh, our, our chairman pointed out that the newspaper model is broken and we need to fix it. And uh, I think uh, my- You're ready to give Jay Leno a job. That's right. Um, and maybe that'll help fix it. I mean, give him a newspaper column uh, while we're at it. It's a good but, uh, So we need to, um, we need to fix our, our business model. Um, that's my biggest fear is uh, um, that we won't. Uh, but that's why I'm here. Uh, I, I hope that the new media community here in Chicago can can help us come up with the ideas. And, and we have things to offer, too, on, on our side. Large audience, um, been in the news inf and information business for a long time, radio and TV. And hopefully together here in Chicago, um, we, we can work that out and find those answers on both sides.